Three outstanding area photographers who work in black and white are featured in this month's exhibition in the Hosmer Gallery in Forbes Library. Here to give us a preview of the exhibit are two of the artists themselves, Tristan Chambers and Paul Hetzel. Black and white photography I, as I was talking to you, is a lot different from color photography. This exhibit, it kicks off this month, to, uh, not tomorrow, Saturday is the reception. Tell us about the reception. Uh, reception's from two to four. Mm -hmm. uh, there are three of us, uh, very different exhibits. Uh, mine is uh, the interior of an abbey in Provence, France. Uh, Rick is uh, documenting the HIV epidemic in Cuba. And Tristan? In my exhibit focuses on uh, agriculture and industry in the area. So you're really, it's an international exhibit, right? Yeah. You've got a little mm -hmm. bit of everything there. Let's right. take, some, take a look at some of your work, actually. We'll start with, well, we'll just show uh, the first. Now this is beautiful, and it really it yeah, almost looks three-dimensional. Yeah. 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 And it, as you were saying, it's not black and white photography isn't just black and white, right? You know, really a, a good black and white photograph really should have all the spectrums of gray. Mm -hmm. uh, pure black and white is a little harsh. Mm -hmm. now, now let's take a look at Paul's photo. So this is inside an abbey in France. And it's really just a, a theme that you have going here. Correct. Oh, it's beautiful. And all of this will be on exhibit at the, on ex at the exhibition in the uh, Hosmer Gallery in Forbes Library. And this is going on throughout the month until September 30th. And people can go and take a look at your work and can also purchase some of the work as well. And now this, now we're looking at Tristan. These are my photographs. Yeah. Your photographs mm -hmm. as well. And it's it's a lot different. It's obviously an art form. I mean, it's it's stunning to look at uh, the talent that you have and, and really the work that you do. But it is definitely much different than taking photographs in color. It is, yeah. Um, I'd say that the most important thing is the light, that uh, black and white photographs really are about the light, uh, unlike color f photography. Mm -hmm. Right, and people that, I mean, for me, I just, you know, take pictures, and then I can change it to black and white, mm -hmm. right? But it's right. different when you're actually taking photos. Like you said, it's all about the light, and the contrast is so different as yes. well. You get wonderful textures, and the, the play of light and shadow, uh, one of my uh, mentors told me that uh, it's the best hours are between the half hour before sunrise and a half hour after sunset, call it quiet light. Mm -hmm. oh. Where you really have that wonderful light, right, that's just, or fog, just magic for black and white photography. Magic, it's just perfect, the perfect scene, the perfect yeah. environment. Yeah. And I noticed, Tristan, you've got your camera with you. Do not leave I home do. without it. Uh, that's true, yeah. <laughs> it's like your child, right? Do you strap yeah, it into a seatbelt in your car? <laughs> uh, I do hold on to it around turns. Yeah. You do, <laughs> see? It's just like a child. Once again, the, the exhibit is going through the month of September, and people can go, and the reception is Saturday, and they can go and, and see your work and see Rick's work as well, right. and also just um, take a nice little stroll through all the, the beautiful photos. Mm -hmm. So thank you very much for being here to tell us all about it. Thank, thank you. you. It's wonderful to have you learn more about this upcoming exhibit. You can just visit the website, ForbesLibrary.org.